hi family natural underscore ada here welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this five by five tea closure using the single knot method please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like comment and god bless you So the first thing you want to do after placing your net on your styrofoam head is to get your guideline as you can see i'm drawing out the middle of the net i'm trying to get the middle of the net because it's a middle part five by five t closure so this process is going to be divided into two as um, i would explain to you as time goes on in this video i've just gotten the middle of my net that's one part and then the second part is the is the cross the cross of your t that's what i'm trying to get i'm measuring just one and a half inch and that's what i just marked out there for this side i'm going to be doing the slanting method you would see that in the video then for the down part i'm going to be ventilating vertically you would also see that in the video and you understand what i'm saying so now let us get to work so i prefer to start from the down part of my tea i'm going to be leaving a very little space um under where um, my weft will be so i'm just going to be doing five lines i'm just going to be doing five lines ventilate one leave a box or leave a hole go to the next line ventilate leave a hole go to the next line ventilate until you get to five until you have counted five different knots as you can see you can pause the video to understand what i'm saying so after i get my first line which is um, um five i will then um fill it up to where to where the cross of my t ends as you can see these two marks that i put here so i'm just going to fill it up to where the cross of my t ends and then i'm going to be doing that on the two side do not forget your middle part that we just drew with the pencil we're going to be leaving two lines we're not going to touch those lines for this um downward um ventilation so you're going to be leaving two lines when we get to the up part i'm going to come back to explain what we're going to do so i'm going to shut up now so you can watch and enjoy the video and i'll be back when it's time for us to do the cross of the t thank you so much for watching once again okay so my vertical um spacing is um no hole spacing meaning that i'm not leaving any holes vertically in between the knots i'm just leaving a line just a line just a rope or i don't know how to explain i don't know if i'm making sense just a rope of the net you move to the next line but horizontally i'm leaving a hole do you understand that so vertically i'm not leaving a hole but horizontally i am leaving one hole and then i'm going to the next hole to ventilate <music> okay so we're done with one part of um our tea i'm just showing you that we're not going to be ventilating behind because that's where we're going to sew our weft so what i'm doing here is i'm just trying to close my part the two whole part i told you about here so you're just going to close it behind just do like four lines without leaving any hole in between close those two lines just like four lines coming up without leaving any hole in between so you repeat what you have done on the other side and now let us face the crossing of our t let us face the upward part for this part we're going to be doing slanted um ventilating that's going to be our spacing we're going to be doing it in a slanted motion as you can see i've placed the net the way it will be more comfortable for me and let's get to work looking at the way i place my net you would see that it's easier for me to slant to make um the knot in a slanting way so in other words the side facing me 
the knot will face me then when i want to do the other side i will turn the net to face me too do you understand what i'm saying <laughs> i'm acting like i'm talking to somebody well yeah i'm talking to somebody so i think i'll just close my mouth and allow you watch it it's it's really easy okay so about the spacing we're still doing the same spacing on top of each knot i am not leaving a hole it's just a line but when i'm done with one full line i leave a vacant line and move to the next one and then i continue like that again. So i'll say that again when we are ventilating we don't leave any hole you do it straight up when you are done with one line you leave a vacant line and move to the next one and you continue like that so i'm just going to close my mouth and i'll allow you to enjoy it it's actually pretty self-explanatory if you watch closely for those that have an idea of what ventilating is actually they would understand this easily but if you're a beginner you would still understand it but you know what i got you my ebook on ventilating will be coming out very very pretty soon you can imagine learning this beautiful skill from the comfort of your home all you need to do is buy the ebook i'm going i'm trying as much as possible to make it as as interesting as um uh, to break ventilating down as in this is this this ebook is going to be ventilating one on one the basics of ventilating so it is for the beginner beginner beginners in this beginner level trust me i'm going to understand everything i'm trying as much as possible to make it very beginner friendly so guys thank you so much for watching thank you for always supporting me please do not forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and if you're an old subscriber you're welcome again thank you so much for always supporting your girl i really appreciate you so i was just trying to tell you here that for this part just make sure that if you're not understanding this slanting stuff i'm doing just make sure that it's on a line as you can see you see this first line now you see that everything is on a line just make sure it's on a line that's 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 what we're doing everything is all these things is just english just make sure it's on a line you understand what i'm saying so <laughs> thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing in advance liking commenting and sharing i love you all and i'll see you in my next one bye to mention this so when you're getting to or when you've gotten to the finishing part just pick one one strands to um, get your hairline to make your hairline as natural as possible that's what i'm doing there as you can see when you get um to finish up um this slanting it's quite um tricky but what you just do is that just always pick from the third knot of your previous line <laughs> i don't know if that made sense from the third knot of your previous line if you can look earlier in the video there was a place where i was counting it yeah it's easy like that see one two three you leave a hole and then you pick the next one because i'm a pro as it is i can go from back as just like i'm doing right here but that's basically what i was just doing so this is called a t closure a five by five t closure and then um, all the non-ventilated spaces your weft will be sewn on them this can be used for um, clients or for people that do not have enough hair and this is the final result if you know your hair is not so much you could just use this and then when you sew the weft it won't even show as you can see i'm sure you can't even see um the net behind it's just it just looks like a full closure i'm going to show you the back right here so you're going to sew your weft on all these non-ventilated spaces and um there you have it Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.